Hello, good day everyone. This is Tebs, welcome back to this channel. We have a TCL LED Smart TV, a model TCL LED 32S6800, which is turning on but a vertical bar line appears on the screen. I'll show you how to fix it. If you are interested in electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you've came to the right channel. So be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. So let's get started. Vertical bar lines can be fixed by cutting the CKV lines, but it seems they have already been cut, and there is no other way to fix the panel. The only way to fix it is to replace the LCD panel. I have a 32 inch LED TV and also a TCL. The main board is defective but the panel is working. However, the LVDS cable is bigger. But the board has an empty larger LVDS connector. We will remove this LVDS connector and solder it to the empty LVDS connector and hope that it will going to work. Let's first swap the LCD panel. The background audio has a unwanted voices, so let's play music.
The panel's width is bigger by about 5 millimeters. This material is made of rubber, so it can be trimmed easily. So let's remove the panel and trim the rubber. <laughs> to the members uh, uh, as well. And before we proceed with the interpolation, uh, allow the chair first to uh, state that um, uh, the manifestation made by uh, Chairman Dan equals the circumcision. The panel now fits perfectly. Now let's unsecure the timing control and place back the bezel. and to the members uh, uh, as well. And before we proceed with the interpolation, uh, allow the chair first to uh, state that uh, Let's now desolder this bigger LVDS connector. The connector is mostly made of plastic. It will melt if we aim the heat gun at this way. So let's aim the heat gun this way.
The LVDS connector has been successfully desoldered without causing any damage. Let's use a soldering iron to solder the LVDS connector. Apply fresh soldering lead to the connector pins. Applying fresh soldering lead is like applying a flux. Also, apply a fresh soldering lead to the LVDS soldering pads. Let's start by soldering the holder and then aligning the connector. The connector is now properly aligned. Let's apply more flux and begin the soldering process.
Kamu apa? Kamu apa? Kamu It appears that all the pins have been soldered correctly. Let's connect now the LVDS cable and try if will work. LVDS orientations are not all similar, some are reversed orientations, which defends the panel's model. I hope both panels are in the same orientation. If they are not, we have to reverse the LVDS orientation. We have an image now. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. You can support this channel by liking and subscribing. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. Once again this is Tefs, see you again next time, bye for now.